फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुनील प्रकाश आई एम हेड ऑफ नेफ्रोलॉजी एंड डायलिसिस ट्रांसप्लांट सर्विस एट बी एल के सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल न्यू डेली आई टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टेल यू लिटिल बिट अबाउट किडनी डिजीजेस टूडे वर्ल्ड वाइड किडनी डिजीजेज आर इंक्रीजिंग एक्सपोनेंशियली एंड नियरली एट टू टेन परसेंट पीपल हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ किडनी डिजीजेस दिस इज अज नंबर द प्रॉब्लम विद किडनी डिजीजेज इज दैट दे आर विदाउट एनी सिमटम्स they are like silent killers so uh, we have to be very very careful and only by some tests we can diagnose kidney diseases first of all i would like to tell you that most of the kidney diseases are due to diabetes high blood pressure due to glomerulonephritis which is inflammation of the kidneys and sometimes some hereditary diseases and then stone diseases or obstructive diseases let us concentrate on the common causes of kidney diseases which are diabetes and high blood pressure and obesity in modern lifestyle today we are facing epidemic of diabetes and obesity even school children are obese they are fat they are not playing physically they are busy with their video games and their mobiles so this obesity and diabetes causes stress on heart and kidneys and other organs of the body and we have epidemic of kidney diseases so we must endeavor to keep our blood sugars our blood pressures our weight under check and under control for this healthy lifestyle is most important and in that the foremost thing of importance is our diet we are what we eat if we do not eat a good diet a regular diet then we will fall in problems today due to the stresses of life we are used to fast foods we are running and having coffee having meals while driving or doing other things this is certainly deplorable we have to get time for ourselves and for our food and enjoy our food in the way it should be and besides having the right diet it should contain the right amount of proteins right amount of carbohydrates salts we should not fall for fads other thing is that sometimes youngsters fall prey to uh, strong protein products which are recommended by people who are running the gyms and all those institutions and they sometimes have very 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 fast re renal failures requiring dialysis so if we take care of our diet if we are physically active we walk for 30 40 minutes or do some brisk exercise like jogging cycling swimming or maybe you go to a gym do regular aerobics cardiac we will remain fit just by these two things and third thing of importance will be to avoid strong medicines pain killers or other indigenous medicines are also not safe we should be very careful what is going in our body in our mouth finally it is sad that our air our water our food chain is polluted and this is perhaps also giving rise to exponential geometric progression of kidney diseases i would like to say in the end that the diagnosis of kidney disease will depend upon early symptoms which could be very very vague so i would say that if any young person who has high blood pressure should not ignore that high blood pressure he should investigate himself by doing a simple urine and a blood test and a ultrasound of the kidney these three simple tests will tell him most of the times and if whatever treatment is required that person must take so a young person having high blood pressure people having anemia less blood in their body or young people who are unable to complete their family and people who have lot of aches and pains sometimes people who have passing lot of urine especially at night if there is froth in the urine so all these symptoms point to some kidney ailment and they should go for a check up to their physician and do simple blood and urine test which i have already envisaged so if by the act of a good diet by regular physical activity by avoiding unnecessary stresses in our life we can uh, be living a healthy life we can have a healthy kidney healthy heart and we must regularly take some checks to diagnose the diseases early i thank you for your hearing